Good morning. So the moral to the story of my testosterone replacement therapy is, number one, uh, before you even go to the doctor, if you're starting to have symptoms of testosterone being low, you should probably take a look at your lifestyle and really hammer out everything that you can do to improve your your testosterone productivity by improving your diet, exercise routine, and sleep habits. And if you've got a lot of stress, then you need to work on that too. Um, that I, I most 100% believe that was my issue uh, from the start. It's very difficult, if not impossible, for me to figure out it now because uh, they lost my medical records, so I can't look at my blood work. I generally know the situation I was in, so I'm pretty sure that's what it was. But I've been on testosterone replacement therapy for so long now that my body is uh, used to it, and it's going to be very difficult for me to get off and get back on the uh, natural production uh, I've tried several times and I'm still trying uh, the second thing I would tell you is don't get too pushy with the doctors because I mean I haven't been rude I haven't well I there's different ways of being rude <laughs> unfortunately sometimes when you're smart and you say stupid things that are sarcastic um, that could be considered to be rude. Um, uh, I have, I come from a family of smart people who are sarcastic and have a biting tongue, and they don't really say anything hateful, like they don't cuss you out or treat you that way. But if uh, if you're being stupid and you're causing problems, you, they'll let you know uh, with sarcasm. Um, or asking questions that make you look stupid. And that's what I did, and that did not do me any favors. So uh, now I've got a situation where I've gone through about three doctors that way, because the first doctor threatened me, uh, right or wrong, it was wrong, but uh, he threatened me, and instead of me just, you know, taking it nonchalantly and moseying on down the road I got my back all up and I got upset because I was under a lot of stress which is probably why I've got low testosterone um, and the next doctor saw that in the medical records and right off the bat every doctor I've had since then it's the same thing so once you get that garbage in your medical records, it's your, it's like you've got the scarlet letter. You know, you, you're like an untouchable. Nobody wants to, you're blacklisted. And I haven't really done anything wrong. I just, uh, I'm trying to get my health straightened out. And the only thing I did wrong was have an attitude when I got treated with bad attitude. So... It's, it's an unfair bullying type situation that you're in with the doctors. They've got an unfair advantage and they're going to use it. So, not all doctors. They're not all that way. But the ones I've been dealing with lately, I, I think it's an institutional problem. It's a systemic problem. It's not, not just individuals. Um, it's just kind of the way the system is set up. So, I'm, I'm hoping to get my car paid off and uh, as quickly as possible and when I get my car finished paying off then I'll be able to afford to go get the wellness doctors where they don't have, they don't take insurance and they actually do the doctoring that the medical system is supposed to do where they do diagnostics they check out your system top to bottom and then they rebalance you naturally gradually in a healthy way so that your body is taking care of itself instead of being dependent upon prescription drugs it exacerbate the problem over time which is bad that's basically what's happening so um, so that's my TRT experience uh, I wish it could be more finalized and more detailed step by step for you to figure out what to do because that's what I want for myself but at the point 
that I'm at right now, there's really nothing I can do except I just have to eat crow and keep my mouth shut and try to get my prescription met and try to wean off of it um, or at least keep it in normal range until I can get the wellness doctors to help me wean off of it in a healthy fashion. I, I've asked the doctors uh, to help me figure out what a healthy dose is for me because it was too high, now it's too low. And so I started, I told them that, you know, I'm gonna, it's too low, I'm gonna take a normal dose again and I need you guys to tell me what you want me to do, how much do you want me to take? But I'm not gonna, just gonna go through life being miserable and with my testosterone low. It's, it's, it's a dangerous thing to do. Um, they don't take it seriously because you're not going to die immediately in most cases but it seriously affects your health and your ability to function so uh, they're not answering me which does not make me feel any more or less stressed uh, I, I feel even more insecure and unsure of what's going to happen so um, naturally I'm wanting to look for another doctor but I'm just going to have the potential of having the same thing all over again. Uh, I go to another doctor, they see my medical records, and they look at the disagreements I've had, and they're going to be like, well, I don't want to, I don't want anything to do with this guy. Uh, he's a lawsuit waiting to happen, which unfortunately I'm trying to avoid, but they won't listen to me, and they're backing me into a corner and not giving me the care I need. So, I mean, it's a classic lawsuit for neglect and abuse. I don't want that. I, I just want my meds and I want you to, to do the testing and help me figure out what the problem is and wean off of it if I can. I'm just not doing it. So buyer beware. Learn from my mistakes and which is the whole point of this, this particular topic. And beware of the medical system. It's, it's flawed. It's not... You really are. Uh, you really are going to have to take care of yourself. The doctor is only there for getting you prescriptions and tests that you can't get for yourself. And if you want them to be cooperative and help you get those tests and those prescriptions, you're going to have to kiss the ring, uh, whether that's appropriate or not. That's that's how it is. So pray for me, a sinner. God willing, this will all work out and. Uh, Maybe it'll even help me wean off. Uh, just hopefully it doesn't destroy my family and lifestyle in the process or my health. Uh, God bless. Have a good day. Over and out.